With unaware individuals, they will not fully appreciate the benefit of the ease. Their connection to it and the greater options afforded of experiential control in their lives. Most individuals will simply create with little or no understanding of the mechanics of creation or how they are deciding and forging their lives based on the ideas they create and decide upon. People then will simply chase what they crave. They will cater to the emotional self mainly, and their experience will unfold according to the specifics of the particular brand of emotional idea they decide upon and activate. We can say then that these individuals are unconscious, unconscious to the process of experience activation, not necessarily a problem as they are still forging experiences for themselves, despite the nature of them. All experiences are required for our causal catalogue, for our possibly one day recognition of the is comparisons. Without the knowledge, the awareness of the creational experience forging process, it is very easy to decide and agree with more than our own ideas. For naturally, no individual would decide upon ideas and agree with ideas that resulted in severe and restricted experiences, if they indeed understood this is what they were doing, fully acknowledging and understanding the process, even with no awareness beyond this simple principle, would have people ensuring their experiences were nothing but exactly the design and type of experience they wished to have. But being unaware of this experience creating a process, it is very easy to be manipulated by others into having experience that is not based on what individuals would wish for themselves overwhelmingly, but more so based on the experience the manipulators wish them to have. It can truly be said that if an individual doesn't decide their own lives, others will decide them for the individual. In other words, if an individual is unaware to this process, if they are not fully grasping the reins of their own cause and effect experience generating mechanics, then others will seize the reins from them. It's all about agreement and decision. Deciding something and agreeing to something of our own devising will result in experience according to our own creations. But agreement can be made with the ideas 
the creations of others. This may not necessarily again be an issue if the ideas were of a kind that didn't result in a restrictive experience. It would then be important to determine the intent of an individual or the intent of the individuals behind a proposed system. As is generally the case, the physical life level is a very literalized presented front, and the intent of individuals can be very easily obscured. Only if we are to go to the real side, utilizing our awareness and see beyond the literalized five sense curtain of the physical life level, can we ascertain intent and agenda. The best determination of the ideas that are the foundation of any proposed systems can actually be gleaned by the literal senses. We simply need to look with our eyes and see the world around us. Always there will be individuals in creation who understand enough of the mechanics of the simulator that they appreciate how they can bring about anything they wish. They can create worlds and universes in the image they desire if they have agreement. And with unconscious individuals oblivious of this creational process, it's very easy to get them to agree with ideas not their own. The idea easiest agreed with is one that appears to be beneficial on the surface. That seems to be a good thing from the perspective of the personal literal senses. Banking systems, nine to five work systems, religious systems, etc. All those that bring forth these ideas must secure agreement for them to take root in collective reality. They must be packaged in such a way as to seem to be something they are not. As humanity is waking up to the nature of these systems and a dawning realization that these ideas, in fact, are not what they seem, retraction from agreement would seem logical. To ensure agreement is maintained, however, programming occurs at life levels unseen, subliminal bombardment of ideas and concepts assault the subconscious as daily occurrence through the various technologies that feature in everyday life. Unconscious individuals will sit before their televisions and receive constant subliminal imagery beneath the threshold of their visual senses and if unchecked, this will enter the subconscious and be tantamount to agreement. The ethereal vehicle is then targeted in this fashion, bypassing the emotional and mental vehicles, and beyond a level that the unconscious masses will be aware of, and even if they were, 
would be unable to prevent. And subliminals are not always necessary to garner agreement, as simply watching TV movies, incorporating all the array of themes that they do, what we might call predictive programming. And if we regard something and accept it all, determine the movie to be great with all the themes it encompasses, it is tantamount to an agreement with the ideas that the movie represents. And as you might imagine, most movies will have the sort of themes, the sort of ideas, that the controllers wish to have agreed with, and thus feature as everyone's experience. Again, it's very evident that agreement by and large has been funneled and channeled through the various means to ideas of a distorted and destructive nature. For if our experience reflects the ideas in agreement with the effects equaling the cause, then by the very fact the world is in the demise and polluted state it is, it's very clear that the general ideas agreed with are those of an equally destructive nature. With a little common sense, and just utilising our five senses then, we can determine the intent of the individuals whose ideas we agree with, based on the experience we have consequently. No real side intent determination required. Naturally, no one would consciously decide to destroy the planet they live upon. Everybody would simply be chasing their thrills, and having experiences of this nature resultingly. And so it is apparent that as the planet is in a demise, as the solar system and creation is compromised, and teetering on the edge of the final epoch, the vast majority are agreeing with ideas that are exacting this deterioration. Effectively then, agreement is to the systems of the planet, the systems that must stem from ideas of control, and now destruction, as everybody's experience is that of control, restriction, and now demise of the planet they live on. For we can see that as these systems were introduced, the state of the planet declined, the systems representing ideas, and evidently then, ideas of a restrictive, destructive nature, as everyone's increasingly dire experience would indicate. When people become aware of the mechanics of creation, the means by which experience follows ideas created, decided, and agreed upon through the five body vehicles, then they have moved from an unconscious state to a conscious one. From here now, they would have the option of taking control of their experience by what they choose to cause and create. 
if they do, for whatever reason, create something, then we say they become the conscious effect of what they decide. A step up from being the unconscious effects of one's unawareness, but still having to have the experience of that which they consciously chose to create. Being in a creation, one would always be creating something, or there would be no experience, and our reference catalogue would stop having additional references added to it. Perhaps not a problem if we have amassed enough references and are ready for comparison and is recognition, but if an individual had no knowledge or awareness of the is and the purpose, the references, the experiences of creation serve for recognition of the is, then an individual may well cease operating the experience forging vehicles and perhaps reach a nirvana state. They would in fact be sitting at the border between creation and the real universes. Perhaps less possible at this current time due to the subliminal programming, even if one were to conquer the mind and emotions, the ethereal vehicle is still being programmed, and we may think we are not agreeing to ideas, but if presented with them, and we consciously do not discard them, we in fact are. Absent of technology, a mystic could still be beyond programming to an extent, but technology now becomes ever more prevalent and abrasive, and with Wi-Fi and electromagnetic smog that we are subjected to, even if we don't turn on the television, there is no escaping the programming and subliminal effects of technology, nanoparticles and Wi-Fi that operate unseen and may reach us even if we were sitting cross-legged on a mountain miles beyond the nearest television. Theoretically, if one reached the deep, dark border, they are beyond all programming. But this position would be rather a void, a nothingness, and an individual always seeks to expand awareness speaking, and if it cannot, it will slip back into its personal self, generally through boredom. Who would want to sit in the deep dark border forever, a whisker away, in awareness recognition terms from the real universes, and far from the next best alternative, that of personal, self-thrill seeking in the creational matrix. If you have a personal vehicle in creation, you will be subjected to the bombardment it receives through all its five parts, regardless of your awareness and recognition of creation and the ease. But with the connection to the true reality, with the new you song, 
with intent and focus placed there, you are standing in creation and the real universe is, as indeed everyone is, if they did but recognise it. So on the one hand, your physical created self is receiving its bombardment, but on the other hand, you have the connection to your real self that is beyond creation, and therefore beyond the programming. As anything that happens to the physical body has nothing to do with your real self and real awareness, so we have moved then from the unconscious effects of everything to being the conscious effects to now having the connection with the real universes of the ease. Thank you.